I don't want to leave these videos too long, so I thought I'd do a very quick update of where I am today, and then um, a little bit about where I'm getting on. So I've got I've got the engine running a lot better. It isn't perfect at all. So um, what I've done is I've ordered a new coil, which is this bit over here, um, and, and what that does is it um, converts the 12 volt into high voltage to to go through the points and cause a spark. So uh, we're going to try that. Um, but it hasn't arrived yet. What I was going to do is do a video uh, with that as a second one because that would just tie in nicely with the other video. But um hasn't turned up yet and I'm waiting for it. You know when you wait for uh, stuff to come and you get a delivery and you think, ah, oh, brilliant, it's here, and then it's some bloody washing powder or something. Well, that's what it's been like today. So uh, so I've got that. And then there's another little bit here I'm going to try if that doesn't work. And, and this is apparently called a condenser, which is another uh, thing that might be causing it to run rough. So uh, we'll give that a go. I don't need to do it, as I said. I'm going to sell the engine, and I know the engine's sweet, and somebody knows what they're doing to be able to tune this up. But to be honest with you, for me, it's all about learning, and uh, I, I quite enjoy trying to get things right and stuff. So, so I'm going to give it a go, and, um, and we'll see what happens. Um, in terms of other things that I've done, I have bought this snazzy rack. Um, it doesn't look that good at the moment, but I bought a um, cool suitcase thing that will go on it, like a vintage suitcase that will go on the back of it. Um, and I've also fitted this, uh, which is just a new chrome number plate, num number, number plate light, um, because the other one, as you can see, was uh, pretty knackered. So I've replaced that. Uh, I've got some other bits on order, uh, which I'll surprise you with when they come. And I've got loads of plans for this. Um, basically, what I'm going to do next is uh, do a disc conversion, because obviously there's going to be a lot more power in this, uh, and the drum brakes are absolutely terrifying on this. You basically... Putting the brake on is no different from taking your foot off the accelerator. Essentially... It just doesn't seem to do anything at all. Um, so I've heard that that's notorious with these things. So what I've bought is a, is a new um, some a, a brake disc conversion kit and also some new brake lines as well. Uh, so eventually, when I get it fully built, this will have a brake disc conversion, it'll have braided hoses, and it'll have galvanised uh, brake lines as well because the brake lines look a little bit corroded. Um, I'll try and show you that. Sorry if this looks upside down, uh, probably doesn't actually. Um, but this here is your brake line, um, and I believe this is a, a, just a sort of union that pushes the brake lines to go to different directions. But you can see it's very corroded. Um, so I've bought some galvanised ones that will go on there. Um, I just need to bend them all into place um, to put them on here. You can see on this one it's got under seal on it, which is great for protecting the body but they've kind of just sprayed it on everything now you know that's i don't think ideal really this is the reality of uh someone doing a home conversion i mean i have got, actually got a barn a unit which i can do all this work in but it, it's just so cold and uh it's so convenient to be in my garage doing this one i can literally just pop out and get a cup of tea uh, go and play with the kids, come back in here, do a couple of hours and then go back out. So so I've brought this one in, especially when the weather's like this. At the moment here in the UK, it's sort of zero degrees, minus one degrees during the daytime. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's blooming cold. So, um, yeah. The other thing is that the, the battery's dead, so I've got a new battery on order. Um, hopefully that'll be coming soon. That's from me trying to start it and, and get it right. So, um, yeah, so doing your home conversion is great. But it's mainly standing up and going to the back to get all my tools and everything because I keep forgetting them and tripping over things and shouting bollocks every five minutes. But yeah, it's um, it's good fun. I'm doing this for a laugh. So um, yeah, we'll see see how it goes forward. My my plan for this is going to be different to the bus. The bus is being collected on Monday to go and get blasted. With this one, I just want to get a working concept. Um, I want to get this electrified do it up a little bit get it electrified so at least this year i can get some interest in it uh, maybe get it in some magazines and stuff like that just get just jump a little bit of interest in these things um and then going forward i'll get it properly restored it's it's not in bad shape at all i mean it certainly is not a rust bucket but you know i, I want these things to be absolutely beautiful so um i've ordered loads of new trick bits for it 
I've got some new tie rods and everything like that because I'm going to do this brake brake disc conversion. But when I've been looking at them, all the um, all the bushings and the on the ball joints are all shot to pieces. So going to get all that done. I wanted to give my wife a shout out as well. Um, something I've never bought myself. Looks a bit ridiculous, looking like a teddy tubby. But if you're working in the cold or outside or anything like that, this works here. It wasn't hugely expensive. Absolutely fantastic. It's really warm. It's waterproof. It doesn't matter if I get grease on it or anything like that. So I'm not muddying my clothes or getting my clothes covered in grease. And when I'm working up the barn, it, it, it's absolutely, it's perfect. So do I look cool and hip? No, I look like an absolute idiot. But am I warm? Yes. Am I dry? Can I just whip this off and go in there and sit down and chill out without worrying I've got grease all over myself? This is the brake disc conversion uh, that I've got. Um, just in the front, because apparently it makes no difference if you do the back on these things. Um, it's from Recambio, uh, which is a, a decent company actually. You, you order off them, get it either the next day or the day after. They've been really good. I've been really impressed with them. Um, so I'm going to get get fit in this, and I'll I'll take you through it. So the first thing you do, 17 mil socket to take four wheel nuts off to get the wheels off. So this is the drum brake and um, what you've got is a um, steering arm which is here and you can see that the rubbers are all it's been painted over it's awful um, and then you've got the shock um, and then you've got the links and the brake line the brake lines here um, which we'll need to undo uh, first so using a 14 mil spanner, what we do is we undo this one. I've just um, squirted it, a bit of uh, penetrating oil, like that. Um, and then we just undo it with a 14 mil spanner. And what you'll find is the brake fluid will start to leak out. So you need to have a um, something for it to fall into. Now you can see that dripping out there. Some people might be saying, well, why didn't you do the brake line last? And you can obviously do it last and try not to lose some of your brake brake fluid. But um, the, the, the first thing is for me, I want to flush out the brake fluid anyway. So um, it doesn't matter to me. And the other thing is you don't want to drop the drum and then leave it hanging on the brake cable. Uh, now, eventually, not now until I've got it all sorted, but this rubber cable I'll be changing for a braided hose. Uh, on, on a car like this, you know, there's not a huge amount you can do to the brakes. There's not a lot of power needed, and I'm going to be dialing it right back. But um, braided hoses are, are just much better, and they last longer. They don't perish. So the next thing that we're going to do is this ball joint. And um, what that does is it, it moves the, the steering. I can't even move it, but it, it, it basically pushes this to move the steering wheel. So to get this off, you can try and man it off, but I found uh, it's much easier to get a ball joint splitter. So I bought one of those on Amazon, wasn't a lot of money, um, and I'm, I'm, I'll give it a go now, see, see if we can get it to work. So the first thing we do, using a 17 mil socket, is we undo the ball joint. So the next thing we do is use one of these ball joint splitters. And what you do is you, you bung that into the ball joint and this bit here pushes onto the bottom thread. And as you wind it in, it pushes the thread up um, so that it pushes the ball joint out. There's some that you can hit with a hammer, um, but I think this is better, especially when you're on jack stands, you don't want to make too much uh, bouncing about. So let's give it a go.
So what you have now is two more 17 bit mil bolts, top and bottom. And then there's another bolt underneath the suspension arm. I'm not saying it's the right way, but I take the bottom one off and then you can pull this forward to get at the suspension, um, the, the shock absorber. Um, you can get at that easier uh, and then take the top off. There's loads of grease and horrors around here, but um, I can get in there on this one with my trusty nut runner, so I'll give that a go. May need a bit of persuasion from the other side. And as you can see, that's free now. Um, it gives me a bit more uh, to play with on this bit here as well. So I've hit a bit of a snag. Um, basically, as I turn this, I don't know if you can see that, but the whole thing turns. Um, so I'm going to take this bolt off, and hopefully the weight of that on the sh on the shock uh, will will allow me to get the bolt off. say this isn't uh, going to be going back on purpose uh, permanently I just want to get these brakes on to uh, to try them out um, and then it will all be stripped off and I'll be putting um, the, the new leaf springs in uh, and, and all the other dump as well it'll all be redone <laughs> So that's it finished. Um, I'm not a mechanic, that's just how I've done it. And so, you know, take it easy, plan it out and do it yourself. As I say, this is this is just a test fit really. What I want to do is, is get all this on. I've got, um, these are coming, uh, hopefully in, in a week, so I'll be able to replace all of those. And then I'm gonna replace the shocks and everything. So. This isn't a permanent fix on here. I'm going to be changing the braided hoses. I'm going to be changing all the bushings. I don't actually know if you can see me there, but I just thought I'd uh, finish up for this week's episode and say a few thank yous. I've had loads of support and uh, people send me nice messages after my last video. Uh, and it's massively appreciated. And that's one of the things that I love about the car seen um, and there's bigger things to come from me i'm hoping that this is just one thing there's there's other things that i want to do uh, i don't want to say them because it might not happen but you know i absolutely love the car scene i find people friendly i get into different cars i've been into fords vws fiat's like the bath scene i've, I've been, been into all sorts of stuff and it's always full of diamond people really really nice people that are just interested in cars um, so i really appreciate all of your support guys you know, I'm not doing this on a budget. I'm apologise that it's not like, you know, uh, American Chopper and it's a fantastic um, outfit and I've got loads of uh, banter with the lads and stuff because, you know, it's just me on my own doing this in a dark, cold garage uh, trying to fix these things up. But hopefully, fingers crossed, if all goes well, you'll see me grow. I'll get this one out and I'll get the split screen out um, and then who knows where that will lead to. So please like and subscribe if you can. Um, thank you so much for all your support um, and if you're just here to watch the video on, on how to do or how not to do um, a brake caliper um, then, then thanks for watching. I will be in another video finishing that off. Obviously I've got to bleed the brakes um, and, and test them out and everything like that. I need to clean them off with brake cleaner, make sure that um, the uh, brake pads and everything are, are seated and, 
and they've got anti-seize um, grease on them and all that sort of stuff. So, so that isn't a finished article. Um, that's this is all going to be coming back off anyway for me to fit the other parts. But I just wanted to get them on there um, and, and, and get a feel for how they go on, what they look like, uh, if they fit, all of that good stuff. And because you know, I've had a lot going on in my life, so I just want to get in the garage and. Um, get in the zone and, and chill out for a bit it's really good for my brain doing this sort of stuff so thanks for watching hope you haven't fell asleep and i'll get another video out soon